Hello everybody, Mike from Southern California again, and you're on the mic. So, today I'm going to talk about something that I, um, you know, credit to that umbrella guy for first reporting on this. I, you know, watched the video last night. Um, so, and, and some developments have happened since then that I checked on this morning. So, apparently... There was a post somewhere that um, L.A.-based anime voice actor um, Robbie, well, I think um, t um, that umbrella guy was calling him Robbie Diamond, um, even though the way it's spelled, I would think it was Robbie Diamond. But um, regardless, whether it's Robbie Damon or Robbie Diamond, he was apparently accused of somebody of sexually assaulting her at ShadowCon. 2016. For those of you who don't know who who Robbie Diamond is or Diamond, however you want to say it, um, he's of course he's an LA-based voice actor who um, some of his credits include um, he's currently Mitsuki on Baruto Naruto Next Generation, and he was also M uh, Mamoru Chiba, aka Tokido Mask, in the Viz Media dubs of. Um, Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon Crystal. So, um, just to kind of give you a heads up on who this guy is. He's also part of a little comedy troupe called Lava, loud, annoying, um, and very annoying with fellow L.A. voice actors, Max Middleton and Ray Chase. Um, so with that being said here, um, I'm getting into my commentary on the overall thing, but there was also an update this morning as I was, you know, looking through Twitter. Apparently, the the girl who made the accusations recounted or uh, recanted her story. She admitted to making it up to get attention. Now, this is what this is kind of one of the big problems. This is, you know, and the title of this video is going to be the danger of bearing false witness. Okay, because that's basically what the whole Me Too movement's about. Going out and making up accusations, whether it's for attention or out of jealousy or just, you know, this whole thing where, you know, you don't like somebody, you just paint them in the most evil light you possibly can just to ruin them. This whole con cancel culture concept, it's it's hideous. Okay, it's evil. You know, we've we've been talking a lot about this with with Vic with you know Vic's case. You know, and the problem, and this is one of the problems. And Judge Shup, I hope you're watching all this because thanks to you and that decision, you opened up this can of worms. You made it easier for these accusations to be weaponized. Listen and believe. You might as well hand these people a gun. Because with these accusations, they're basically going out trying to murder people. They're trying to murder reputations. Okay, and that's wrong. Okay. You know, Robbie Damon is the latest casualty. Now, we all should remember way back when the whole Vic thing started up. Back in February. Even going back into late January, right? When Han Leia sent out that first tweet. And then, you know, it's been come to find out. Of course, she was confusing Vic with... With another voice actor, Illich Gardley, or I've gone over his story. He's the former, you know, ADD Sentai Funimation voice actor who was actually arrested for being involved with a 16-year-old student of his. And the only reason he's not in jail is because he ended up marrying her and she and her mother wouldn't cooperate with authorities. So, um... 
Just keep that. And remember, this is the same guy who Monica had no problem admitting to dating either. So, Monica, so just think about that a bit. Um, but way back when all this started, too, you know, even Marsgo was one of the, you know, well, once we're done with Vic, then we're going to move on to other people. And we, we've seen it. We've, we've seen how they, you know, Sean Schemmel. Now, granted, Sean Schemmel has been one of the most vocal antagonists of Vic since all this started. You know, so there's no per se love loss among many, you know, I stand with Vic or, Vic, you know, Vic fans when it comes to Sean Schemmel. But the fact is Sean deserves as much you know, right to due process as Vic does, you know. Granted, we may not, we may not wish to be as loud and enthusiastic in Sean's defense because of a lot of the things he's said and done. But for a lot of these white knights out there who, who are standing up for these women and saying, listen and believe, listen and believe, listen and believe. You might as well hand women a gun and tell them to shoot you dead. Okay, because that's basically what you're doing. That's the danger of bearing false witness. You know, you're empowering them in such a way that you're they're weaponizing accusations. It's like when they try, you know, when they don't agree with you politically, when they start calling you a Nazi, because they want to paint you in the most evil of lights that they can to discredit you, to make it seem like you're the most horrible person and you don't, you don't even deserve to live. That's, that's the danger of all this. That's the danger of the whole Me Too movement. It's likely to spark a gender civil war. That's going to be very costly. All this animus and discord, you know, well, I don't like somebody because, you know, because he supports a particular politician or I don't like somebody because he has a particular faith or I don't like somebody because his line's bigger than mine at cons or... I'm just going to say I don't like somebody because I'm just very lonely and, you know, don't have much of a life and therefore I'm down. So I'm just going to bring somebody else down with me. People need to really, as the saying goes, people really need to check themselves before they wreck themselves. Because this kind of, this kind of thing, it's going to be damning on the whole Thing. You know, we, we saw that Neil Kaplan was one of Vic's vocal detractors until it came out, the accusations came out about him. You know, I, now granted, I may not remember the saying quite exactly, but I remember there was a, there was a saying in regards to, you know, the results of the Holocaust. You know, something goes like this. They came for the Jews, and I said nothing. They came for the blacks, and I said nothing. They came for the gays, and I said nothing. They came for the women and women and children, and I said nothing. Then when it was time, then when they came for me, there was no one to speak for me. You know, when you jump on this bandwagon. You know, the fact is, you know, ultimately, these evil people are going to come after you. They may glad hand you and they may pat you on the back. Yeah, go, go get, go get that guy. Because that guy's, that guy's nasty. We want to get rid of him. But once, once they've, ra you know, once they've ravaged his corpse, that's not going to satiate their appetite. They're gonna, they're gonna want, they're gonna want to feast on another corpse, and and guess what? Guess who will likely be the next corpse they feed on? Yours. Ultimately, you have to value truth over feelings. 
you know. You know, part of the problem with the latest allegation again, you know, now Grant, she, the girl retracted much to her credit. She realized the mistake she made and, you know, I'm glad for that. I'm glad for Robbie's sake because nobody should have to go through this. Vic shouldn't be having to go through it. You know, and as much as we all dislike Sean for a lot of the stuff he's pulled, he shouldn't have to be going through this either. You know, nobody should have to go. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be even wishing this on your own worst enemy. This is the danger of bearing false witness. You know. But there were problems with the girl's story even to begin with. Apparently, this happened at. Well, she, she didn't say she was never at Shadow Gun. It never happened. But the story was fishy right off the bat because she was. In basically in line in a public place where there would have been other people who could have testified to that fact. And then the other problem is is that if this if it was so egregious that you storm off in fury, why not go? You know, it's like, yeah, instead of going to security or instead of going to the cops, instead of going to the proper authorities when it happens. No, let's wait three, four, five years, ten years. You know, when the person's like real famous or real successful in their life, let's just burn burn them down because that that makes a whole lot of sense. Let's burn people down, you know, because that just totally makes sense. It is always best to value truth over feelings. Ultimate, ultimately. Evidence over, over, oh, I just don't like him. So, with that, you can check the links below. My, um, if you want to contact me directly, you can, my Twitter handle will be down there. You can DM me. You can also comment on my videos and my tweets. Um, I'm also promoting a bunch of, dubbing companies and um you guys might want to check those out remember funimation is not the only game in town people um i'm also you know promoting the gofundmes as always guys never feel like you have have to donate if you're able to and it and it's on your heart to do so please consider donating um within your means of course um if you've already donated please consider donating again and then if um and if you can't donate, you can still help out the still help out the cause by sharing the link. You know, maybe there's somebody in your network of friends who can help out. And if you like this com content, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Um, I always love the conversations with you guys. The good back and forth, of course, as long as it's respectful. Nothing harassing, taunting, or or nasty. I won't put up with that. But, um, but with all that being said, um, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Um, hopefully I'll see you, t you know, today's Friday, so I hope to either see you guys at the, you know, premiere of, uh, Voices Big and Small, Carolina and Day. If I don't see you tonight at the premiere and have a chance to talk to you at the premiere, then I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye!